Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we examine a versatile fishing boat built to be highly effective both inshore and offshore. The Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay. She's 27 feet long with a nine foot two inch beam with enough gunnel height to stand her ground offshore while drafting, get this, only 16 inches of water. For offshore anglers that require comfort for family and friends, we step aboard the Sea Fox 268 Commander. The Sea Fox 268 Commander excels not only in function, but also fashion when it comes to keeping the family comfortable on the water. And we take a look at a true blue water battle wagon, the Invincible 39 Open. Despite my best efforts, I couldn't make her pound or get anyone on board wet. All coming up on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. What's the best boat for you? Whether you desire precision while pulling across the shallowest of flats, the ability to roam a variety of destinations from inshore to offshore, no boundaries while in vast expanses of open ocean, or you just want to create lasting memories with friends and family on the water. Join Florida Sportsman's trusted boating experts as they review the latest from today's most popular boating manufacturers to help you decide which is the best boat for you. Welcome to another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Boy, these weeks are flying by, but fear not, we've got three more boats to look at this week and we got three good ones. Our first boat is a new company to us, it's Blazer Bay, and they brought us their 2700 Hybrid Bay. We actually had friends of yours on the boat for the day. What a cool time we all had. And we're also going to be looking at the Sea Fox 268 Commander. Now this is a boat that has all offshore fishing, but you, again, with the family, you've got every feature on there to make it comfortable. You want to talk about every feature, okay? The 39 Invincible. Let me tell you something. If you want to see a great boat, don't touch that dial. When we return, our hosts take a look at a boat engineered for fishing versatility, the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay. But first, let's join our host Rick Riles and Rye Landry of Yamaha as they discuss the newly improved Helm Master system from Yamaha in this week's seminar segment. I'm here with my mentor, Rye Landry from Yamaha, who brings me all the latest technology and tries to keep this old man up to speed. Rye, I've spent my whole life at boat ramps seeing nervous boaters, first time boaters, early boaters, starting out. It looks to me like all this new stuff just makes it so much easier for them. It really does. From the base DEC remote, the digital electric control, we got trim assist built into it now, speed controls now built into it. When you get to the digital electric steering, we have variable lock to lock, so I can have four turns lock to lock, but I can also go to nine turns lock to lock, so the boat's nice and subtle and it doesn't have that immediate responsiveness. Then when you think about the autopilot system that's part of this, there's nothing more efficient than getting to your fishing spot through open water than having a solid autopilot that can get you there. And then of course, last but least, the joystick system and all the set point features that are there, whether it's fish point and keeping it there as we showed you out there on open water or drift point or on twins, triples and quads and using stay point when you're in really blustery conditions here at the fuel dock. So you've got a lot of stuff here that really brings a lot of different features and benefits to average boaters. Well, what it all adds up to, there's never been an easier time to get into boating and become a master very early on. This segment brought to you by Bennett, superior by design. 50 years ago, Bennett Marine changed boating forever, inventing the trim tab, helping boaters get on plane faster, reduce bow rise, correct listing, improve efficiency, and increase performance. Over one million systems later, worldwide, we offer durable and dependable trim tabs and hatch lifters for all boat sizes, your only source for both hydraulic and electric systems. Industry-leading innovation, plus the best warranty and service available. Get Bennett on board and enjoy the ride. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay, a bay boat that can comfortably handle offshore conditions and easily bump down a shallow main grove shoreline. The Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay has an overall length of 26 feet 7 inches, a beam of 9 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 450. Designed for slicing through a chop and getting shallow, she has a draft of 16 inches, a dead rise of 17 degrees, 
a dry weight of 4,814 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 110 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Hey guys, how about this? We are on the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay a 27 foot bay boat. We've got seven people on here today with room for everybody to sit and draft in 15 inches of water. Can't wait to see what this boat's gonna do. I love the fact that we have the Smith family on board today with us. It's really gonna show every bit of this boat from the storage compartment, to fishing, cruising, we're gonna see it all. You know, I'm a big fan of this style of boat, as you both know. I like the bay hybrid, hybrid bay concept. I mean, I like to be able to fish in the inland waters and fish in the ocean. And hopefully today we get to do a little bit of both of those things and see what this boat's all about. The design attributes found in a bay-specific boat are very popular for serious hands-on anglers. The type of angler who likes to fish with a rod in hand all day and cast directly to a target has a real need for a deck layout that allows you to move freely around the entire boat while maintaining the increased visibility offered by a raised deck. She's 27 feet long with a nine foot two inch beam with enough gunnel height to stand her ground offshore while drafting, get this, only 16 inches of water. And here's what all that means to you. You've got enough room to carry all your friends offshore and her profile is low enough for a trolling motor to hold her fast in a stiff breeze or a screaming current. The 2700 sports a large forward casting surface that's as perfect to sight casting from floating debris or a weed line as it is to a rock wall or jetty on the beach. The height advantage offers increased awareness of target position and it's plenty big enough for a couple of anglers to share. Hey, us old guys can really appreciate the extra step they put in to make it easier to access that massive casting platform. But listen, that thing doubles as a seat. It's got a bolster against the back of it, can be one of the most comfortable places to sit on the boat. At the bow, we had an anchor locker and two sealed rod boxes, one on your port side and one on your starboard side, along with a huge compartment in the center. In front of the console, we got what I like to call the two for one deal. It's a seat, but also a cooler. I love this because it really does free up deck space having that already built in. The 2700 Hybrid Bay is an upper tier boat in this class with many quality features included as standard equipment. Dual flush mounted Simrad 12 inch Evo 3 units, Seastar hydraulic tilt steering, all waterproof Deutsch plug electrical connections, and a wet sounds audio system with four six and a half, two eight inch subs and a 200 watt amp, just to name a few are all standard features. Inside the console today was extremely roomy, providing you with a lot of storage space. And if you wanted to, you have the option to install a porta potty. The stern had a lot of action today, from catching bait to catching fish to having to clean up. It was great having raw and freshwater washdowns right there. It makes cleaning up so much easier. She's holding 24 inches of cockpit freeboard. Now that means she can handle some sloppy water. Just a few years ago, we never would have believed we'd see a bay boat rated to hold, get this now, eight people. A smaller rear casting deck in the cockpit allows you to add another angler to the mix while providing space below it to accommodate a pair of 30 gallon live wells in the transom corners. For days when industrial quantities of bait are necessary, another 38 gallon well is located in the leaning post under the seat's backrest and five rod holders. The transom ladder was super impressive. I loved the size of it. All you had to do was push down to drop it. No buttons, no clips, or having to open a compartment to get to it. After fishing today, Allie and Abby were able to flip up the stern bench seat that was folded down in between the two aft 30 gallon live wells. Being able to transform the stern into a fishing platform and then a place to sit while underway made life on the boat so much easier today. Guys, what an incredible day today. When we left the dock and there were seven people on the boat, not gonna lie, I was a little, eh, I don't know how this is gonna work, but man, did it work. We had plenty of room today, and look at us right now, the three of us standing up here on this bow, plenty of room. Absolutely, you know what? When we left, this is my first experience on a Blazer boat, and this Blazer Bay definitely impressed me. In the bay boat, big hybrid style bay boat, this boat is absolutely gonna be at the top of the field. And if you're the guy that wants a hybrid bay experience and you've got a big family or a lot of buddies, 
you need to check out the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay. When we return, our hosts examine a boat built for family fishing trips, the Seafox 268 Commander. This segment brought to you by FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Boating is a great way to relax, but staying safe means being aware. Don't get distracted. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Be aware of other boaters. Stay focused, stay alert. The marine environment is constantly changing. Stay safe and be aware. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the Sea Fox 268 Commander, a fishing-oriented center console with amenities the whole family will appreciate. The Sea Fox 268 Commander has an overall length of 26 feet, a beam of 9 feet 3 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Built to keep the family comfortable while in open water, she has a draft of 16 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a weight of 5,250 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 140 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, today we're on the Sea Fox 268 Commander, and walking on the boat today, I'm sitting there going, that option, that option. These are options you normally see on bigger boats like 30 foot plus and we're on a 26 today and I can't wait to see this boat on the water and play with all these options. You know what you bring up an interesting point Lori and Rick and I were talking about it here before we met up and said this is a feature heavy boat we know that okay but more importantly this boat here defines the user experience that we've been talking about all year. Think about what you do when you go on a boat what are you trying to do Rick? You're exactly right. So many boats that we step on, you look like you're on your way to a big dollar billfish tournament. There's a pressure from the minute you get in the ocean, you gotta produce fish, you gotta do this. The minute I walked out on the dock this morning, I felt like my blood pressure was gonna go down. This boat just says relax from bow to stern. I don't know about you guys, I'm ready to hit the water in a boat that is designed to have a good time. At 26 feet long, with a nine foot three inch beam that she carries forward beautifully, by the way, you can either set her up to fill her ample fish boxes offshore or to serve plenty of guests comfortably if you're just enjoying time on the water. The Sea Fox 268 Commander excels not only in function, but also fashion when it comes to keeping the family comfortable on the water. The bow seating today was incredible. Not only are you comfortable facing aft with your back against the bow, Sea Fox has integrated two rear facing scallop style seats into the bow that contours your back perfectly. The Ford console lounge seat housed what Sea Fox calls a mini coffin box. All of us had our personal belongings in there. It was so roomy and really easy to access. In the console today, we had a head, sink, and the best part, dive tank storage. To me, this is really important. You can free up your deck space and have your dive tanks located in place so you don't have to worry about them falling over and hurting someone. Behind the helm, we had a slide out Yeti cooler and three separate storage doors. I prefer this versus one large opening. It really does help with all those little things staying organized. In my opinion, the user experience for the helmsman can make or break any boat. Done correctly and you find yourself able to comfortably man the wheel for extended periods without excess fatigue. Sea Fox has done a fine job of taking care of the helm area by opening up your visibility nicely while offering a large heads up helm face which is blacked out to reduce glare. This stash panel offers plenty of room for all of your electronics and instrumentation. They've even added a wireless Bluetooth phone charger to the dash which is a nice touch. For me, a standout feature for the helmsman on the 268 is the comfort and convenience provided by the Sea Fox Ultima Hardtop. Abundant shade is only the beginning of how useful this stylish molded glass top is. The use of space here is exceptional. Between the five separate overhead storage compartments and the front and rear facing LED light bars as well as LED courtesy lights, audio speakers, and seven overhead rod holders, Sea Fox has not left anything out. Probably the most important factor that takes a toll on your wheelman is the ride. 
a boat that requires constant extreme steering corrections and trim adjustments can be challenging for the person running it. The additional bad habit of rattling or pounding your riders excessively while getting everyone soaked will also suck the fun right out of the day. Trying to overcome the unpleasantness of a hard riding boat will sap the energy out of anyone. Fortunately for Sea Fox owners, this model exhibits not only easy trim manners and a smooth ride, the overall handling characteristics of the 268 were exceptional and left me with plenty left in the tank after a long day running it. Seems like more and more offshore fishermen are becoming live bait specialists every day. And having plenty of circulation in a clear lid with a clear window in your live well means you can monitor your bait situation at a glance for the whole day. I really appreciate the backrests and the forward seating because they fold back and create great combing bolsters to fight a big fish against. George, Rick, we talked this morning about how just walking onto this boat, you immediately just felt comfortable. Looking at all the seating arrangements and cushions, this boat is built for families who love to be on the water. Okay, more importantly than that, this boat's built for fun, and we sure proved that today. You know, we didn't catch a ton of beautiful big trophy fish or win a big tournament, but did we not have a blast? Did we? Let me tell you something. I came up with the perfect name. If I get a Sea Fox 268 Commander, I'm going to name it the day off. Did this not define having a great day off? When we come back, our hosts step aboard a boat designed to handle all the serious offshore anglers' needs, the Invincible 39 Open. This segment brought to you by Ocean Tamer, the marine beanbag of choice among tournament fishermen, captains, and boaters worldwide. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they check out the Invincible 39 Open, an offshore fishing powerhouse designed to meet the rigorous demands of the most dedicated blue water anglers. The Invincible 39 Open has an overall length of 39 feet 2 inches, a beam of 11 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 1800. Engineered to conquer virtually any blue water mission, she has a draft of 24 inches, a dead rise of 24.5 degrees, a weight of 12,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 540 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, you're in for a treat today. We've been waiting for this for a long time. We're finally getting to test an invincible boat, and we're on the 39. This boat is their most popular selling model, and you're gonna find out why today. Well, I can already tell why it's so popular. First off, you guys are gonna be so happy with all the fishing features. I'm seeing a lot of comfort features in this as well. This is actually my very first time ever stepping on an invincible boat. So I can't wait to see what this boat has to offer today. The 39 Invincible is set up to do one thing at the highest possible level. Just like the frigate bird that serves as her logo, she's an apex blue water predator with no corner of the offshore fishing world off limits to her. This boat powered by triple 400 Mercury engines was fast and the ride was assertive. The 39 handled the ocean so well it left me wishing the wind would puff up and the seas would continue to build so I could press this boat to the edge of its limits. But despite my best efforts, I couldn't make her pound or get anyone on board wet. The 39 Open is rated for a maximum of 1800 horsepower, although I can't imagine why I'd ever need so much power since 1200 left me not wanting for any more throttle whatsoever. Oh, the lounge seat. Yes, it was extremely comfortable, but let's talk about that underneath storage. <laughs> there was a removable divider, actually two dividers, which had multiple compartments now. Today, I had not one, but two Yeti coolers in there and still had plenty of room for all my bags. You have two open storage compartments under the gunnel on your port and starboard sides. Both sides had washdowns, which is great for cleanup after fighting a fish. And you were able to stow your dock lines right there in that other compartment. Inside the console, you had everything you needed, 
plenty of standing room, a porcelain head, a sink, and plenty of room for more storage. Another hidden feature were the jump seats in the stern. I seriously did not even know they were there. Normally, you would have to pull a handle out of the seat, but these were hidden so well behind the combing bolsters, it blended perfectly. The 39 Open is built to be used as a platform for hardcore fishing in extreme conditions. The cockpit layout is built around an all-weather console and hardtop enclosure. This provides protection from the elements behind a three-sided glass weather barrier built within a contoured pipework design that looks very stylish while tightening up the workspace around the console exterior. The helm face offered plenty of space for large dual-screen multifunction units along with instrumentation. The dash panel was oriented at a height and angle that allowed you to keep your eyes on the approaching water and with just a glance to view all of your dash electronics. Seating behind the console is wide enough for three with the helm in the center position. Insulated fish storage is located in four places on board, both forward and aft for convenience and balance. In the bow, there's a very large fish hole below deck situated at the forefoot of the oversized double sun line. The ultra competitive South Florida Sailfish Circuit is all about good live bait. And with an advanced system including three pressurized wells with high velocity pumps, you can keep enough bait for the hottest bite you'll ever find. Imagine over 50 rod holders and enough tackle storage to open your own floating tackle shop. If you need it, you can find it stored away on the Invincible 39. Okay guys, the marine forecast was wrong today. Shocker, right? <laughs> I thought it was going to be flat seas. It was not. It was rough. Going out that inlet though, the boat didn't know it was rough because I never felt that big boom. You know when you're going down on a wave in the boat and everything hurts? Not today. Smooth sailing. I'm glad you feel that way, Lori. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised to see those white caps breaking across the inlet today because I know how this boat runs. And you know what, Rick? There's a lot of things that we take away from these boats. I mean, fishing boats, there's always something you remember about a particular boat, how it fishes, how it rides, how it's laid out. And every time I've been on an Invincible, the thing that I take away from it is the ride. And man, I want to tell you what, I've never had more fun running a boat than I did today on this one. Guys, you're right. We may have known it was rough today, but nobody told the boat. That's for darn sure. i tell you what Invincible has. For a boat, they have the perfect logo. Think about it. This boat, didn't you just feel like you were a level above? The frigate board, or man of war bird, is their logo. The apex predator, we're standing on it. George, you said these weeks were flying by, and they are. But we still have more to come, so join us next week. Hey, if you'd like any more information about the boat you saw today, or any boat you see on Best Boat, visit us at the web at floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week on another edition of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Make sure to join us next week on Florida Sportsman Best Boat as we take a look at the Glassstream 260TE, the Sailfish 272cc, and the Invincible 37 Cat.